How's it going here? It's Mr. Case with uh, day five of the English language arts uh, NTI work packet from the Seifers for fourth grade. Um, so day five was the last for this week. And then I'll have days six through ten up, hopefully Sunday night or Sunday evening. Uh, but with that being said, let's get into our uh, day five. So first we have this here, just a uh, quick little reading. An interview with a state representative. I know that your main responsibilities are writing bills and voting them into effect. Do you have any other responsibilities, I asked the representative? Like every other representative, I serve on two committees, he told me. What does a committee do, I asked. A committee is a group of Congress members. They study a specific subject, like the military or education, and become experts on that subject. When a bill related to that subject is written, the committee reads the bill, then reports to Congress on the bill. Each committee provides valuable advice about changes that should be made to bills before they are passed. All right, so now all you're going to do is answer the questions about the text above. Uh, how do you know this text is a narrative nonfiction? So gotta remember what nonfiction means. It's nonfiction doesn't mean it's real or is it fake? Is it made up? Gotta determine that and then remember we started discussing narratives kind of like we did with poems and dramas. Uh, two, what text features are included in this piece of narrative nonfiction? So text features, like how do we know it's a narrative nonfiction? So kind of like question one, it asks, how do you know it's a text? The text is a narrative nonfiction, but then number two is asking, okay, what is the text features? Like, what text features are included in this piece? Number three, choose one text feature. How does it add to your understanding of the text, of this text? So, take one of those text features that you listed in number two and go into detail about how, how do you understand the text because of that text feature. Uh, and then number four says, what opinion does the author express in the text? So going back, possibly reread and just decide what the, uh, what the author, what they express, like their opinion. All right, so that's day five, so the first part. And then the second part, some of y'all, this might have been modified, might have been down a few questions. But this is talking about an idiom. An idiom is a common expression understood figuratively as the literal definition makes no sense. It's like uh, an example is, if I look outside and it's raining, I'm like, oh, it's raining cats and dogs. It's not literally raining cats and dogs, but it's raining hard. Um, that's an idiom. So what you're going to do in day five, it says idiom test one. Determine the meaning of the bolded expression and choose the best answer. So, you know, parents are able to read this to them, but let them kind of circle and decide which one is best. I just want, this is just to check their understanding and see if they understand idioms. We reviewed this at the beginning of the year. We reviewed this back in third grade. They should know what an idiom is by now. Um, so just go through, you know, read to them the question or like a statement and then read the answers to them and they can decide oh well this idiom means this and that's all you got to do for that part um, that is day five like I said I'll have day six through ten hopefully up Sunday for you guys um, hope you guys are finding these videos helpful once again if you ever have any questions yeah, give me a call shoot me a text shoot me an email um, I'll have video chats up three times a day if for some reason I can't I'll uh, you know, I'll give a heads up that we won't be having a video chat at that time. Um, also, remember to download the Remind app to get uh, you know updates constantly. And I will see you guys in the next video.